What up, girl? Oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. What are you up to? I'm watching hair tutorials. Hair tutorials? <laughs> oh my goodness. What's up guys? Welcome back to a new vlog series. We're very excited about this. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the Bora Bora vlogs. It was insane, incredible trip and just insane support from you guys. So we really love it. We are going to be completely flipping the script here though. We are doing something we have never done before. We are currently in Seattle, but Chels, where are we heading? Alaska. We are going on an Alaskan cruise with Royal Caribbean. So this is gonna be insane. We're stopping in Victoria, BC, uh, Juneau, Alaska, Skagway, Alaska, going up into like the little fjords to see the glaciers, all kinds of crazy stuff. You guys know this channel has always been about sunshine, ocean, and sand. Now it's gonna be all about orcas and ocean and glaciers. So it's it's going to be insane and apparently Royal has some like exclusive private excursions and stuff we're going to be going on so these are going to be some crazy videos but that all starts tomorrow we board the ship tomorrow we have a full day in Seattle today it's currently 7 a.m. and we are going to basically see how many touristy things we can do in the city. We're gonna be as touristy as humanly possible. <laughs> Which you guys know is not typically what we like to do, but we've never been here, so we wanna check it out. So please join us on Trev and Chelsea's Touristy Day. We grabbed a quick bite in the hotel lobby and then hopped in an Uber and headed downtown. So I think every tourist's dream day in Seattle starts with the Space Needle. Yeah. So that's where we currently are. And we just went up, we got some tickets, and now I, I think we go to the top, I don't really, I don't really know what you do here, but we're going to go do it. Big bolts are pretty cool, right? Yeah. What do you think about big nuts? I knew that was <laughs> A revolving glass floor, a cafe, and two levels of 360 degree views of the city, the Space Needle is a must visit if you ever find yourself in Seattle. Whoa. When you this like, is cool. Look, it makes you feel weird. Look at this. I'm slowly, very slowly spreading my legs. That's super cool. This is, this is cool. So if you guys saw on the B-roll from earlier, this is a one horsepower motor that powers this. And you basically just spin around looking straight down. Yeah, that's really cool. This is crazy. Dang girl, it's kind of popping out here now. No. We got here just in time. So we bought the dual ticket so you can go up in the Space Needle and go to those gardens, which is what we're gonna be doing next. Yeah. But first, we had to get a souvenir. Now you guys know, wherever we go, we always buy something to decorate the house with just yeah. so we can have these like physical memories of the places we've been. But more importantly, what do we get? Just a happy little Space Needle <laughs> for my friends at home. <laughs> We got him a dog toy. It's like a <laughs> plush. It's not really meant for dogs, but it's, happy. it's gonna be a dog toy. I think it goes without saying that we couldn't vlog in the museum, but the glass art in here was incredibly unique and beautiful. It's definitely worth a stop if you're near the Space Needle. So we walked about six blocks yep. and now we made it to the spheres. Another thing that we were told to do, not really sure what to expect, but we're going to try oh, it out. Cool. The Seattle spheres are like a haven in the middle of the concrete jungle. It's an indoor rainforest made up of over 40,000 plants from 30 different countries, and its primary function is a workspace for Amazon employees. It's also available to the public, but only by appointment, and we didn't know that until we got there and it was too late. So we are currently heading to the Pike Market. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Something like that. It's like one of the biggest farmer's markets in the world. It's the number one place that people go to in Seattle. But first... We're going to the original Starbucks. And you know me and Trev love our Starbies. Uh-oh. This is seriously the first one ever it started here. So it's going to be awesome. So is it everything you ever hoped for? It's everything I ever hoped for. Trev and Chell's fun fact, our favorite order is a grande nitro cold brew with extra sweet cream. There we it is. We did not change it up to come <laughs> to the original store. 
<laughs> it literally just like they pump it out. They don't make it. There's nothing special about it, and that's what we got here, which I think is kind of funny. But it's just cool to say we, we know went. We, like it. Yeah. we got a, a special mug. The old logo is a f kind of chubby mermaid naked, <laughs> and uh, so we got a cup that has that on it. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna enjoy this coffee, and then we are gonna go over here to the Pike Place Market. So this is just a little overwhelming. The amateur chef inside me wants to stay here for like two weeks and just buy everything to cook. <laughs> it's unfortunate, a lot of it's like stuff you cook with and obviously we can't buy any of that or take advantage of that, but there's like three levels and it spans a couple blocks. And it's just all kinds of different vendors and foods and snacks. We got like a little jam thing, a spicy jam. It's all so good. So this is pretty cool. This is really cool. This is on the back side of the market. You can kind of enjoy the sunshine, get a nice little breeze. Look at the, uh, what's it called? The, the pu Puget Sounds? Puget Sounds? I think it's Puget. I don't know. Sorry if you live here. <laughs> but you can see, I think the aquarium's right there. We might check that out today. Yeah. They've got the Seattle Wheel. Is that what it's called? I don't remember. But this is just beautiful coastline. Oh, I would love to be out there. Oh, look at that. You can get your names on them. Little charms and then hang them on this. That's pretty cool. This is just really, really beautiful. I love it here. It's like a solid, like high 60s. So it's like not too hot, but the, the sun feels really good. It's not like muggy like Florida is. Nobody panic, but I got a ring. <laughs> she got a ring in Seattle. Let's see it. Oh man, look at that. Just like a little decorative one. And I bought it myself. Hot side, you guys thought. In all seriousness though, we are about done with the market. We went through yeah. one level. There's three, you could spend like a whole afternoon here. I think we're gonna go get some food and then move oh, on. Yeah. I've got my eyes on some good clam chowder. I've heard that's what you have to get here. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Did it work? Wow, you're so hot. <laughs> but first we had to try a local tradition. Seattle is known for this. It's corn on the cob dipped in butter covered in hot Cheeto dust. Is it actually known for this or did you just make that No, up? it's not known for I that. I fully believe but you one, when you said <laughs> <laughs> You wanna try it? See what all it's right. all about? Okay. One of the vendors had like special dips and toppings on corn, so we're just, we're gonna go for it. We had to try it. Is it pretty good? It's all over your face, so it must be, right? For starters, anyone who puts this much butter on corn is right by me, <laughs> but it's actually really good. <laughs> So the nice thing is after I have all that seafood, now we can come to the gum wall and I can get some fresh breath. So you just go up and you just pick a piece off it's and so you just start hell. chewing it, right? No, I am so grossed out right now. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is like a local attraction here. Yeah. For some reason, people just started sticking their gum to the wall and it's it's become a thing. This is kind of cool. It smells like kinda gum. Yeah, it smells super fruity in here, but it's kind of cool, I guess. My favorite are the people that went for extra credit and got it like way up there. Do you think they threw it or do you like Oh, they definitely how? threw it. Or they brought a ladder. That, you yeah. can't, I mean, you can't reach that. So good on those people. I'm tempted to try it. We don't have any gum though, but people are like spelling their names in gum, hearts in gum. This is, this is something. Gross. So I think that just about does it for the market area. We are going to head down to the waterfront, check out the aquarium, the wheel, and all the other stuff down here. Here we are. I'm excited for this. The Seattle Aquarium. It's supposed to be like one of the best ones. So we've been to quite a few good ones. We'll see how true that is. This is pretty cool. This is really cool. Look at this. It's like a giant circular aquarium full of jellyfish. And they just 
keep spinning around and around. They're just living their best lives getting pushed around by the water. <laughs> just indefinitely spinning. That's, That's pretty so cool. cool. Hey Charles, how do you measure up to a six kill shark? Oh man, look at that. It actually makes you look taller than you are. You look like you're like 5'6", which she is not. I've got heels in my tennis shoes. <laughs> that makes sense. The aquarium was good, but not great. Honestly, it was kind of expensive for what it was, but we later learned you can buy a Seattle City Pass, and that includes the Space Needle, the gardens, the aquarium, and a lot more things on one cheaper bulk ticket. All right, guys, so I think that kind of does it for this part of town. Yeah. We just called an Uber, we're gonna go back. We have a 5.30 meeting with the Royal guys to kind of go over the plan for the week and stuff like that. Yeah. I know we're doing dinner with them tonight. I don't know if we're gonna vlog anything from that. I don't know what's gonna happen. So this could be the end of the vlog. There could be a few more clips coming up. I'm not sure. We'll find out together. <laughs> but uh, thanks for hanging out in Seattle with us. It was a really fun day and uh, we'll see where we go next. So uh, this did end up being the end of the video. We went back, had dinner, and then pretty much just went to bed. So thank you guys so much for joining us on part one of this journey. As you can see from some of this footage, there is tons of exciting adventure on the way. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for day two when we board the ship.